Hi beautiful, welcome to The Guiding Chariot. My name is TC Lucky. This is going to be a, a kind of an end of the month wrap up video. I'm um, really to see what we need to finalize and you know what loose ends we need to tie up as we finish the month of May and move into June. Um, what we need to finish as we start moving into Gemini season and also what are we releasing um, because of this full moon we just had in Scorpio. So this is going to be a general reading. Uh, my only ask is really that you only take what resonates. Do not try to force the message. Um, if part of the message isn't jiving with your circumstances or doesn't really connect to you, don't worry about it. That piece wasn't meant for you. So leave that behind and only take what really connects. Um, because of that and just because of the nature of general readings, I do encourage you to watch your video for your sun, moon, and rising sign. Um, just because your message may come through um, through one of your other videos, not necessarily just your sun sign. So definitely check those out. As always, I'm here just to be a clear channel. If you ever have questions, you can always hit me up in the comment section below. But for now, let's flip some cards. Hi Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your end of May reading. Like I said in the intro, we're going to use this Moonology deck to see what this Scorpio full moon is helping to clear out for you. Uh, possibly what your kind of main focus should be for this final week in May as we move into June and into the heart of Gemini season. So let's see what is going on for you. I hope you guys have had an amazing month. Hope you guys are feeling good. Oh, no. Wasn't sure if that one was going to fall out or not. Couldn't make up its mind. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not feeling these puppies that fell down. But I'm kind of liking these guys. Let's see how we feel about them. You know what? We're going to take it. And honestly, it's because of this top card. For some reason, this... This color on the moon is really giving me Aries vibes. I don't know why, but it is. I don't know. I guess it's that kind of ready, ready tone. But full moon eclipse conclusions are in reach. So finding some culmination very soon. Wonder how many how many of you relate to that? So coming to the end of a cycle, possibly. And with every end is also a new beginning. I also feel like there's a blotting out, because you remember like an eclipse, when we talk about the astrology of an eclipse, it's a, it's a reset, it's a blotting out, you literally have the moon coming in between and blocking something out. So there's, there's almost like an emotional reset going on for a bunch of you. So this conclusion probably has to do with something in your emotional world, possibly a relationship, possibly some beliefs, something's going on. Ooh, definitely could be relationships first quarter moon, your commitment's being tested. And for most of you, I don't feel this is a commitment to a relationship, although it totally could be. But honestly, I feel like this is a commitment to yourself. Commitment to your goals. What is it you want? What's your priority? Is this really what you want? Because I feel like what you've been wanting is slowly shifting, slowly changing a little bit. And then here you are, full moon in Virgo. You are good enough. You are worthy. You are deserving. That can be a hard energy for Virgo. It's, not, it's normally not a hard energy for Aries. But maybe you need a little reminder, especially as you're moving into, you know, moving into a new phase sometimes can feel a little vulnerable because you may be walking into, you know, some previously unexplored territory. Could be a new, new space for you. Could even be a little uncomfortable maybe a little out of your comfort zone for something just a reminder you are totally capable you are worthy actually it's funny isn't virgo maybe i'm making this up is virgo right across from you No, it's one off. Virgo's across from Pisces. I had to think about that for a second. Never mind. I was thinking that was like your opposite energy. Nope, made that up. All right. 
Spirit, what's the most important message for Aries right now concerning this last week of May as we move into June? Nice clean cut there. I don't know, for some reason I always feel like it's a good, it's a good little sign when they cut nice and clean like that. All right. Hey, look at this, bottom of the deck. Nine of water, emotional contentment. Focused on, on feeling good, feeling happy, getting what we need, feeling fulfilled. Good card. All right, so five of earth. Possibly moving out of a phase of loneliness, singledom, could be a thing. Um, five of earth is a very, very solo energy. Sometimes it can be kind of sad because it is kind of like feeling outcast, feeling left without support. But I feel it's more so just the solo part. Ending this, this cycle where either you are single, whether you are you know, trying to stay, you know, keep to yourself and do your own thing. It could also be at the ending of a cycle where you think you had to go it alone, where you think you couldn't ask for help or lean on someone. Either way, whether you didn't have someone there or you thought you couldn't have someone there. I feel like that's coming to an end. Here you are with the hair font card. So a card of learning. This is also a card of commitment. So it's funny it fell right underneath commitment, but this is a very grounded, stable, committed, long-lasting energy. Queen of Air, discernment. Honestly, with these two cards coming out next to each other, I'm almost feeling like there's someone in your, someone in your reality, someone close to you that you, you trust, um, they give you advice, um, they may have some authority over you, like a boss or an elder, you know, like a grandparent, something like that. Um, could be. Not necessarily. Maybe not for all of you. But it's definitely someone whose advice you trust. Um, someone who gives you good opinions, guidance, things like that. Um, Hierophant is a spiritual card. Usually it, it pictures someone like in, in papal robes, robes and things. So this could be someone who's spiritual, um, priest, something like that. Totally could be a thing. Oh, look at that. King of Earth. Oh, oh, lots of Earth energy going on. You got the Five of Earth up to the King. So, concerned with security, concerned with stability, thinking about what is going to last, what is going to ground you. For some reason, I was going to say what feels like home. I don't know why that's popping in, but what what constitutes a home maybe that definition is changing for you three of earth more earth so this to me is actually doubling down on the fact that this could be some type of mentor or authority figure because the three of pentacles yes it does speak to teamwork but it is kind of like teacher student relationship as well so again i feel like this you're, you're learning something from this person, this trusted friend, advisor, mentor, yada, 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 however they, however they appear in your life. Definitely learning some things from them and from their wisdom, possibly from their experience, again, as if they're an authority member to you. Um, really about this new direction that I think has to do, could be with your home life, could be, you know, with relationships, could be, again, we're talking about commitments, so like what... Anything that's going to last, you know, for a long time. Career, home life, all those kind of things. Anything that's, that has lasting qualities to it. Yay, this is a good card to finish on. Six of air. So moving out of choppy seas into calmer waters. We did talk about conclusions are within reach. So whatever has been frustrating is coming to an end. I love it. Very, very nice. So you are, you are moving. This, honestly, this could be even a card of travel. Six of air can sometimes speak to travel, so you may be relocating or going on a trip. Maybe not necessarily moving, but might be going on a trip to go see something, I don't know. Maybe it's to see them. That could be a thing. Could be going to see this person. You know, just could be moving because of their advice. Um, 
but travel could be in your in your near future. I don't say you're necessarily booking a trip within the next seven days, um, but energetically wise, definitely moving into calmer, easier, smoother situations. And I think that has to do with this this kind of searching from moving from the five of earth into the king of earth, searching for more stability, searching for more grounding, searching for more security and stability through the help and partnership with this person as they teach you what to separate from, you know, what what direction to head in to find these calmer seas and find this peace and find this balance. Because this is something you're definitely worthy of and capable of. Ooh. It looks like you guys are in for a positive, it's a positive shift. But this one feels big too. Like this feels like a big shift. Like I think that's why you have, like you have a major and a court card symbolizing this council. And these could be two different people. It, to me it feels kind of the same. But I feel like this is the same person, but it could even be two different people. But th like, that's why you're calling this person in because there's, there's this big shift coming for you. You really are going through this reassessment and this reevaluation and you're bringing in the big guns to help you find your way there. And also to find this, remember this bottom of the deck? All about that, that contentment, finding that, that happy place. So I would say even with this conclusion card, like what is it that we need to release? What tendencies, what behaviors, what thought patterns stand in the way of this new destiny? that may be what this person helps to highlight or what this person helps to give you advice on how to let those go or how to shift out of that frame of mind. But nice, big, positive step forward for you, Aries. Excited to see it. Also excited to hear about it. So if this is, re if this is resonating, I would love to hear from you down in the comments and see what's going on for you. Uh, but I'm gonna wrap it up there. Big, big excitement coming for you. and. Whoever this person is, I hope you, like, as I talked about, I hope a name or someone popped into your head because they are sitting right at the center of this reading. So they are going to be a big support, a big help, and a key player in this. They're also the only, they're the only um, major sitting here in this reading. So big stuff going on here. All right, my friend, I'm going to send you out. Thank you, Aries, for joining me and supporting this video and my channel. I love you for it. Wishing you all the best. As always, thank you for the likes, the comments, the subscriptions. Keep them coming. Um, if you want to reach out to me, of course, you can hit me up in the comment section below. You can DM me on Instagram, at The Guiding Chariot. And if you want to book a private reading just for you, all that info will be in the description box. All right, Aries, take care. I love you, and I will see you in your next video. Bye.